This video gives a brief overview of enhancements to working with the AutoDeploy service and the HTML5-based vSphere client. Using AutoDeploy, you can provision hundreds of physical hosts with ESXi software. You can specify the image to deploy and the host to provision with the image. Starting with vSphere 6.7 Update 1, the AutoDeploy GUI is enhanced in the vSphere client as follows. You can add or remove a script for use in an AutoDeploy rule. You can add or remove a proxy server. Note that prior to vSphere 6.7 Update 1, you had to use PowerCLI to make scripts available for deploy rules and to add proxy servers. You can now remove a host that you do not want to be auto-deployed from the Discovered Hosts tab. Starting the auto-deploy in Image Builder services is now just a one-click operation rather than multiple clicks in the vSphere web client. By default, Auto-deploy is not enabled. To enable the auto-deploy in Image Builder services in the vSphere client, select Auto-deploy from the menu and click Enable Auto-deploy in Image Builder. After services are started, the auto-deploy UI is displayed. To remove a host from being considered for auto-deploy, click Discovered Hosts, select the host from the list, and click Remove. To add a script bundle, Click Script Bundles, then click Upload. Browse for a script archive file and click Upload. Once the script bundle is uploaded, you can use it when creating deploy rules. To configure a proxy server, click Configure, then click Add. Enter the proxy server name and click Add. The Configure tab also enables you to remove proxy servers, download a TFTP zip file, and edit auto-deploy and image builder service parameters. Improvements to the following workflows have also been made to the vSphere client. Importing or uploading a zip depot and exporting an image profile. To import a zip depot, on the Software Depots tab, click Import. Enter the name of the Software Depot in the inventory. Click Browse and select a zip file from the local system that contains the software depot you want to import. Click Upload. To export an image profile, on the Software Depots tab, use the drop-down menu to select the software depot that contains the image profile that you want to work with. On the Image Profiles tab, select the image profile that you want to export and click Export. Select the type of the exported file. Optionally, if you want to bypass the acceptance level verification of the image profile, select Skip Acceptance Level Checking. Click OK. After the image profile is generated, you can click Download to download it to your local drive. This video has shown the enhancements and improvements to working with AutoDeploy in the vSphere client. For additional information about AutoDeploy, visit docs.vmware.com.